To charge for their work, they normally use a combo of methods, depending on magnitude of the services they will provide. 1. The Initial Consultation The first meeting is for the interior designer to evaluate the project, illustrate to her work profile, speak about conditions and conditions, see if the task fits her capacity and services, and most important, if it inspires her. This can be a good time to give important ideas established on the house, so that the client can assess the designer and see if he or the girl feels great working with her. The interior designer may or may well not charge for the initial consultation, it is determined by her experience, workload, the firm's policies, or perhaps the distance to the place where the project is to be conducted. You have to consider that a free initial appointment might not exactly tell you all you need to know. The interior designer may delay until you make a decision to tell you what she thinks. 2. Installation Payments on Your Retainer-Like Fees very often, creator will ask for a retainer payment in move forward, as soon as A has been reached. The payment amount will cover the particular professional believes will pay on her time and her employees a chance to plan the project. 3. A payment-based price. The designer will check the project in detail to establish the range of services necessary and will set a price centered on the hours of work or square video footage, among other methods. This kind of price may be paid in increments while the project is active, as items are received and delivered, or as services are provided. As a rule, to get the most advantageous deal for you, discard the minimum and higher estimates and choose from the ones in between. 4. A square foot based price. In this case, the price is determined by the square footage of the area. This kind of method, as well as the one above, is hard for interior designers to employ, because they have nothing to do with the client. Among two clients whose homes are near and similar, for example, you can need more services or may be more demanding, and this poses a risk for the designer. 5. By the hour structured price. This applies when the designer is aiding you on an on an hourly basis basis. The professional is merely called as she is needed to provide her judgment about the effort being done. The fees vary in respect to expertise, region, and demand. 6. Cost Plus The interior designer is in charge of the look process and is paid to acquire items on a cost plus basis. These normally include gains on every demand, including freight and delivery. 7. Arley Plus Cost Plus Here, the professional charges by the hour when meeting the client, organizing specifications and budgeting, however, she manages the purchase of items through the cost plus system. 8. Price tag or commission payment. This means designers earn a commission rate based on the volume level of goods sold and made available from certain manufacturers. The commissions are included in the price of those items, 